All right, Brian Engelman here with the New American Media. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, let's get your name, where you came from, and what brought you today. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, my name's Peter. Uh, I am from New Jersey, and right now I brought here to do uh, do some uh, work for the uh, work for the group I work with. And and so, what what is your thought about the election and what's happening today, and, and all these people around us? What what's your take? Well, truth be told, on to this one is. Looks like a bunch of sore losers, but truth be told, I am surprised on how many sore losers came out today. <laughs> so you're, you're convinced of the integrity of the 2020 election, oh, it is. confident, it is. N no concerns moving forward. No. I really believe 81 million people showed up to vote for Biden if you can't get eight, eight people to a rally. No, but who cares? Who cares? Well, that's, that's where we... Yeah, but who cares? Look, it's Trump's out of Trump's out of office. We have we have somebody within the office. And we're able to take control. Who really cares? Okay, and so you said you have a socialist background. So this is. Uh, yes, I. Uh, Ends justify the means. Yes, I was uh, went to college. I was, uh, sadly was not able to finish because of uh, because of money issues. But uh, what it is is I was studying biology as well as having a minor within anthropology. Gotcha, I, and and so th this is this is. This is a happy moment for you. It's just, it's just soaking in, exactly. drinking the tears of your oh, defeated yeah. enemies. Oh, you don't, you don't understand. It's, it's just been glorious, just seeing all of these sore losers, these, these, these horrible people, these racists, just going in there, being like, "Oh no, our president is defeated. How can we do? We need to fight." Oh, boo hoo. Well, there you have it. Well, no. I mean, look. I was gonna. I was gonna say. Look at Stalin. Stalin was a great person to be able to do that. Why is it gonna be good? I'm just curious. Oh, because we're gonna be in power, and all of you Republicans are about to be put down, and we're about to have about to bring in a new era that's able to help the workers. So where does that go? I'm just. Curious. You wanna hold this? Up? Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. I mean. I mean where does this go? What kind of future are we building if we, uh, oh, so if, if, if we're build Biden wins, even if it's a Look, fake we've election? We've already seen it. Right. Capitalism has already failed us. It has failed us on okay. numerous occasions. Is that what crony capitalism or is that free market no, capitalism? Just capitalism? It doesn't matter if it's but crony no, that, or not. You can't throw it all in one basket because that's not it. If it's a corporation, if it's DC and all these big businesses and federal banks, centralized banks, that's not capitalism. That is called no, that crony is capitalism. capitalism. That was created by capitalism. No, no, no. No, that's, that's not capital. free market says fair capitalism. That's a totally different thing. No, that was created by capitalism right. because you let it happen. It's your fault. Uh, no, I don't. Well, that's subjective. I don't know about that, but no, okay. it is. You let it happen. You let them grow to such an exponential rate, and, and well, the that's news what happened. No, well, the corporation. Yeah, they, they took over and yeah, through they Washington. Took over because you let yeah. it happen. Congratulations! You well, let capitalism hey, took over. Well, it's, hey, people let socialism take over, and look what that did to some of those countries. What does well, that yeah, do? And the, then how do you get out of it when there's no freedom of, of speech, there's we, no look, Second we need, Amendment? What we need is actually, right. what we need is that capitalism needs to get rid of, uh, rid of. We need to be able to bring in equity and we need to bring in actual, actual health care, UBI. Right. I mean, it's, if we don't have... So why not go Green Party if you want health care? Yeah, but nobody votes for the Green Party and... and well, that's a different side, that's a different side of like, say, liberal... You know, democracy. You can still have a uh, you know republic. You can still have capitalism with the Green Party. Yeah, but tr yeah. truth be told, is yeah. already 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 know everybody knows that's just a lie. But it's more of just we're able just to say is like, all right, we now have the power, and we're going to have the power, and you guys can cry about it, and then you could just. But what are you going to do with the power then? What do you want to do that so much better than? You know, bring in UBI, universal health care, be able to bring in, uh, be able to uh, bring in racial. So you justice. think merging in with the global structure. Maybe the, in the communist Chinese is a good idea. Well, yeah. You think it's a good idea to merge with the communist Chinese? Well, yeah. It's well, yeah. Versus they America. Have, okay. Yeah. I mean, well, it's, once they take over, you're, we're going to say goodbye to the Constitution. We're going to say goodbye to the Bill of Rights. Yeah. There's going to be no freedom of speech. There's going to be no right to bear arms. Yeah. There's going to be no private property. Awful things. And you think that's a good thing? Yeah. Why? Because look what has already happened. Because already you want to win? Because these, you want to show all these people? Look at all these fucking okay. racists out By here. By percentage, how many people do you think are actually racists out here? Just give 100%. me a... 100%. 100% of yes. these people are racist, but you're not. No. Okay. Okay. That's a very interesting angle on that. Okay. Well, I don't know uh, what kind of future you want to build or where you think that's going to... Like, if people are going to look back and say, oh, yeah, it was when uh, the Antifa, the, the communist socialists took over. That's when everything went better. That's good to... What was that go to the Hunger Games, 1984? Have you seen some of these well, movies, yeah, potential futures? Say, you think that's okay? You well, rather see it's not going to happen? It, well, maybe in like 30 years, yeah. But well, that's the way it's going to go. 
Well, you you're gonna be alive. What do you think? What do you think is gonna happen to you? You're gonna get like a seat at the inner circle. They're gonna say thank you to all the foot soldiers that helped make this beautiful new dark America, whatever it is. Ends justify the means. We showed all the crazy racists what's up and got rid of capitalism. And then you think you're gonna have some happy life after that? Yeah. Why? It's gonna, it's gonna bring in universal basic income to be able to have a livable wages for the workers. Well, they could change the structure. I mean, get rid of the 40-hour work week. There's a lot of different things that could happen. Why does it have to be some centralized big structure that's gonna be ruling and then all it's gonna give money to the peasants? You think the ruling class is gonna take care of you? Well, they're gonna have to because if not, if not, it's gonna have the cycle over again. Just look what well, happened. Well, no, the, you won't have freedom of speech. Then it won't matter. You won't have you won't have a way to do anything about it once they take over and they get rid of the guns, they get rid of the freedom of speech, they get rid of private property. You're fucked. You're never gonna get out of that system. Then it is yeah. Hunger Games time, no, and well, then good luck getting out of you're it. You're sounding like conspiracy theorists right now. No, it's not conspiracy theorists. It's what's knowing next? history. You what's next? You believe is that the this whole world was uh, all monarchy, despots. Um, is all, all kinds of tyranny until the Magna Carta of 1215 and then the Constitution 1789 Declaration of Independence all that stuff in 1700s before that after that it's, it's been tyranny so if we get rid of that then there I is it's going to be a you're dark a racist age. Okay. you racist alright well he's got alright well I appreciate you your time you racist what, what I do appreciate is that you did end have yourself have a conversation alright thanks man appreciate you alright